शेखर इज एब्सोल्युटली स्पेल बाउंडिंग एंड व्हाट दुलकर हैज डन ऑन स्क्रीन ही इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा आई कैन नॉट वेट for dulkar to come into bollywood we literally want to steal dulkar into bollywood so friends now i am going to review all the worlds one by one so keep watching starts with the world of shekhar and how the st- stammering act of dulkar salman is portrayed absolutely fantastic i mean i have seen many actors in my life stammering on screen legendary bollywood actor as well as actors from the south but dulkar salman's stammering act is a really different the pause which he takes in stammering is absolutely delight to watch on screen sai dhansika i mean the kabali girl in short hair is absolutely unrecognizable in this movie with long hair and she is looking absolutely gorgeous full marks to her dress designers for giving us such beautiful nose rings and beautiful lehengas and kurtis but the main point of this movie i mean the way you know bijoy nambiar plays with a mind it is already a non linear movie and putting a non linear track in a linear first story is something masterful you've been shown how these two sai dhansika and nanan and shekhar have fallen in love how she refuses love first how they fall in love how they have their kid and what shocking incident happens is what the world of shekhar is all about so friends world of shekhar starts with how shobhan shahir i mean literally this man has literally taken over malayalam film industry i mean with parava being a blockbuster last two weeks back shobhan shahir in this small little cameo as dulkar's friend is absolutely mental in this movie his scenes with sai dhansika's father is absolutely kick as the story starts in a swimming pool scene where sai dhansika is in a swimming pool and how dulkar salman goes and proposes love to her she slaps on his face and how at the end of the scene both you know literally jump into the same pool and fall in love story moves forward bijoy nambia shows us year 1 year 2 year 3 you know after the year 3 dulkar salman takes obviously dhansika into his bachelor pad but as soon as they enter our very own shobhan shahir wakes up those scenes are very nice and very good. beautifully shot your four sees you know dulkar giving a birthday party for dhansika that day you know she's been caught out of family and how the ci uncle the uncle who was in comrade in america he is in this movie and he has an altercation with dulkar salman what follows is that the two families meet over lunch and how they are discussing that how can you guys get married you are so young and the non linear story starts yes dulkar meets with an accident comes really bruised and battered you know fracture in the hand and you know tape on his head and he sees a young born you know small little girl in a cradle and sai dhansika sitting there well friends the story again goes back into the flashback and how on the day of the meeting the father punches dulkar salman that That scene also absolutely fantastic, but in that scene, Shobhan Shahir from behind teasing Sai Dhansika's family members. Those scenes are absolutely fantastic. So friends, the story moves forward and how Sai Dhansika, you know, four years back refuses to marry Dulkar Salman at start, and that scene where Dulkar Salman comes to know about the medical complications of Dhansika. Those scenes are also fantastically shot. The scene where Sai Dhansika is playing with the sticks and Dulkar Salman comes blindfolded. You know, he also comes with you know drums and how he proposes his love and how you know both meet together and the song. Plays behind absolutely fantastic, but 
full marks to Bijoy and Ambiar for making each scene look different from each other. I mean, the boathouse marriage which takes place of them is absolutely a delight and the best dressed person in that boathouse marriage is none other than Shovin Shahir. He has a bhoti below and a sherwani on top. Absolutely fantastic but the pregnancy scene, how when they're shifting the house, she gets, you know, the pregnancy attack and she's been rushed to the hospital. That scene is a cracker shot by, you know, Vijay Nambia. That is the higher of the scene. But the suspense when it reveals in the end what happens, you know, when Dulkar Salman and his daughter, you know, running towards the beach, we come to know what happens. I literally shed a tear. And it is really shameful that the biggest, neatest role in this movie given to Sai Nansika, she was not there for the promotions of this movie. And you know, I don't know what to say, shamefully because of a Tamil incident which happened on the stage. All in all, World of Shaker is the strongest of the you know, plots in this movie, powered by a towering, stammering act by Dulkar Salman and a riveting performance by none other than Sai Dansika. Well friends, the second story in this movie is that of none other than Trilog, obviously based on the element of wind in this movie. Trilog is a very decent looking guy, you know, wearing spectacles, one bag in his hand and how one day he saves the life of a certain businessman in a SUV is the story of the movie Trilog. Trilog is the most revengeful, most gripping of all these four plots and how one day, you know, in the by lanes, you know, in the hills, a girl, a certain girl who is driving a cycle absolutely fantastic looking girl and how she is crashed by a car a father and son crashes her and she's completely laid into a pool of blood those scenes are absolutely fantastic how she is dying on the deadbed and how the son in the car tells that we should save or the father tells Venda and how you know they pick up that girl completely in a pool of blood and throw her in the car and they think that she is dead the father carries the girl in the hand and how he goes and throws on the road and again the four years pattern yes well in, in this part in the part of world of Trilog there is a four year sequence what happens after four years is that that son grows up and now he is married and the father dies so friends the father is dead in the death ceremony he gets a certain phone call and he has gone out in his SUV safari car talking to his wife and the brakes of his car yes friends both the brakes, the lower brake and the hand brake, both gets failed and miraculously he survives that accident and none other than Trilok enters Dulkar Salman and saves him and takes him to the hospital. He is a veterinary doctor but he takes him to the hospital, rushes him to the emergency ward and that day when that man is in the car of Dulkar Salman, he sees a certain you know keychain hanging with the photo of the same girl. He comes to know that the girl who was dead was related to Dulkar Salman and he is now going to confess that and none other than he was the reason why that girl died. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, the moment, the moment that man is going to tell Dulkar Salman that how and who killed your, you know, girlfriend Aisha, that scene is absolutely fantastic. I mean, full marks to Aarti Venkate. She doesn't have a very big role in the movie. I mean, out of the four actresses, she has the minimum role in this movie. But Anson Paul, who plays Justin in the movie, his confrontation with Dulkar and how Dulkar takes revenge with, you know, Justin, that is the crumbs of the story. I mean, it is shown so easily, but the play planning and plotting Dulkar does to find out who had murdered Aisha and how you know it takes four years to take a revenge so gruesome that you feel for him but friends just before the interval as the world of Trilog is going to end the scene where you see the flashback how they both were spending good time Dulkar Salman and Aarti Venkatesh and they were riding on the cycle and she was pregnant and she had a Bluetooth in her ear with which she was connected with Dulkar Salman and Dulkar had heard all the words of the father and son. That is the highlight of this episode and how you know the interval, the Shiva paintings come alive, all four of them and intermission comes into place and that is the interval of this movie. So friends, the fourth character in this movie is none other than Shiva, that is fire, the world of Shiva. The world of Shiva is the best, best story of this movie and Dulkar Salman has given a knockout performance. Just imagine this man, when he stammers, gives an epic 
when he is a decent guy he is an epic when he is an angry man he is fantastic this one he is speechless he is absolutely mute doesn't utter a single word right from his childhood till the time what happens to him in the end this part of the movie is an absolute delight i mean if there was a part in this film where i felt that the background music the bgm went from year to year especially in the puja sequences of prakash belawadi absolutely fantastic the star cast is the main plus point of the world of shiva because prakash belawadi is a kick ass actor shrutta shrinath plays the wife of dulkar in this movie her dubbing is a bad part of the part but friends none other than sai tanmankar the marathi bombshell we call her the priyanka chopra of marathi film industry she has given a knockout i mean the scene in the night when she when dulkar sir you know brother comes and cries on her legs and how when she leaves that scene and keep some money towards him that is absolutely fantastic i mean the person who plays dulkar's brother in this movie i can't remember his name he is absolutely fantastic rohan manoj rohan manoj is a revolution in this movie the way he does not leave dulkar throughout till the end follows him till mumbai in spite of getting banged and bashed that is the highlight of this movie so friends what is the world of shiva all about world of shiva starts with how dulkar the father of dulkar and the mother have a fight as a tiff and how the mother leaves the children the small brother is small but shiva is not that small he is little you know elder in age how the story again moves Four years after, well, friends, the story moves and Dulkar is grown up, works for a very big gang there, and how behind a Mad Max poster, there's a Mad Max poster, and then there is a gang of you know Siva. They are singing songs every time they are going to go to kill somebody. There is a fat boy, you know, with the specs in his eye. You know, they are literally hitting the person outside, and he's sitting inside watching Saas Bahu serials and he's eating his food. That those scenes are absolutely fantastic. So, friends, Shraddha Shrinath is obviously the wife of Dulkar Salman. How? and he enters the house and you know locks her in the outside and gives food to the younger daughter those scenes are also absolutely very nicely shown so friends the story moves forward and dulkar comes to know that her father has been killed in a certain bar that scene the father is lying on completely head towards the bar and while seeing a cctv footage they come to know that prakash belawadi had killed the father how all of them plan and plot and enter mumbai i mean bijoy nambiar obviously that guy had shot shaitan he cash he had gone to mohammad ali road with you know making men wear burqa and even in this scene you know the entry dulkar salman sets foot in bollywood land in mumbai in thobi talao and the house of prakash belawadi obviously that day when when they were shooting in dadar parsi colony i was there and how you know dadar parsi colony is shown fantastically and how dulkar's brother climbs dadar parsi colony which is shown as a one bungalow which is not one bungalow it is two three flats you know on each uh, floor so those scenes are absolutely fantastic and how they come into a lodge the owner of that lodge is you know sai tanwankar with her husband and she tells ए ये मद्रासी लोग का मदद मत करो काय को इन लोग का मदद कर रहा है इनको मदद करे तो हम भी फंस जाएगा हर एक्शन इज एब्सोल्युटली फैंटास्टिक रिमेंबर शी इज नॉट एन हिंदी एक्ट्रेस शी इज अ मराठी एक्ट्रेस एंड हाउ इन नॉर्थ इंडिया देयर इज अ अजम्पशन दैट एवरी साउथ इंडियन इज अ मद्रासी दे डोंट नो वेदर हु इज अ मलयाली हु इज अ तेलुगु एंड हु इज अ तमिल इन हु इज अ कन्नड़ी का दे डोंट नो दैट सो फॉर देम एवरीबॉडी इज अ मद्रासी दैट पॉइंट इज केप्ट वेरी नाइसली इन दिस मूवी एंड हाउ द नेक्स्ट डे प्रकाश बेलावाड़ी इज गोइंग टू लीव यस फ्रेंड्स ही इज गोइंग टू leave for dubai and that day is the only day when they have to kill them is absolutely fantastic and what follows is an tarantino ish you know shoot out the puja the sound and i mean literally bijoy nambiar does an interstellar a dunkirk a christopher nolan in this movie how many of you may be thinking oh this was a cinematic glitch the projector was not working but this man has the balls to make the screen go into 16 into 9 resolution as we saw in interstellar in some scenes it was 16 into 9 and then it goes full screen this full episode of shiva you know the whole dimension of the screen becomes shorter into you know, 16 into 9 and that is a true bijoy nambiar classic i mean literally speaking bijoy nambiar is an absolutely fantastic director and you know dulkar in this scene in the end what happens to dulkar does the younger brother play a part in the revenge does prakash belawadi survive and where is the mother that is the suspense and this was the best part for me but in the end when you know the show of flashback the younger dulkar the father and the mother and the brother playing diwali i literally cried in that scene because that 
that is an absolutely fantastic moment roshomo roshomo rosho rosho roshomo 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 well the part which we all were waiting for throughout the movie the last part of this film was world of rudra i mean literally the entry of dulkar salman woke up the audience because the audience was very sad in the world of shiva what happens in the end with dulkar but in the entry of this scene literally 16 into 9 resolution goes full screen bomb blast and how in a training cap dulkar salman running through bomb blast and makes a fantastic entry you know doing the drill in a military camp the crowd literally woke up and whistles dulkar fans went literally crazy in the trailer so friends what is world of rudra based on the earth concept all about obviously the shiva paintings come before and this story is about neha sharma and dulkar salman how in the start you know we are shown suhasini maniratnam and nasir the you know parents of dulkar salman discussing some issues with him and how we are shown neha sharma whose marriage is going to be fixed with somebody called as shrikant who she calls shrishan those scenes are absolutely fantastic and how neha sharma tells i cannot marry you because there is a divergence in my story who is he dulkar salman of the bullet cutter and the bullet club which had come to haunt this movie they were all like damn dulkar on his bullet is a delight to watch and how in that scene dulkar salman takes neha sharma to the military camp and the song comes in roshomo roshomo everyone everyone all the kuti everybody in that you know theater were gone crazy in that song neha sharma is a bombshell in this movie i mean the way you know she wears the military uniform gives everybody champagne is a true delight you know people wake up in the scene in that theater but story gets a little messy now the father of neha sharma is about to suspend dulkar salman why i won't spoil the mystery for you and that is why nasir and mani ratnam swais mani ratnam tell him that please you know don't do all these things and how Neha Sharma for what reason she tells Dulka that we will be in touch on Skype she is going to Australia because for a certain course and how she leaves Dulka and again the four year flashbacks every story has a four year flashback even this one has a four year flashback and surprise surprise we have none other than the heart drop the superstar you know for 2 3 years in bollywood dino moria dino moria is looking so young in the movie he is looking like a college student how he and a bunch of north indian friends of dulkar salman come to know that neha sharma is back from australia she is going to get married to a police officer who we come to know is a gold medalist in boxing and is a national police officer she is getting married to him dulkar and groove ala three idiot style take the bullets and everyone goes to the marriage ceremony and how dulkar asks akshara you know neha sharma that does she you know still love dulkar she does not answer and on the marriage night dulkar versus neha sharma's you know to be husband the boxing match is a cracker i mean the first round the national champion literally knocks dulkar out dino moria comes and you know wakes up dulkar four punches DQ knocks the shit out of the police officer but Neha Sharma refuses the marriage and what shocking revelation the Swasthi Maniratnam give to Dulkar that in the end he comes for the marriage claps and goes away and whenever Dulkar does this in the movie someone is going to get punched but in the end Neha Sharma does this and literally Vijay Nambiar ends this movie on a high i mean get away films Vijay Nambiar Productions all the statues of Shiva blue color red color flowing on screen and this movie ends as a true 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 masterpiece but this review would not be complete if i don't thank the brigade of musicians right from the veteran Prashant Pille Thai Kudam Bridge Masala Coffee Gaurav Godkini Agam even filter coffee Brodavi Tal Atma Abhinav Bansal Suraj Kurub and says for the innumerable soundtrack numbers in this movie but my favorite in this movie has to be none other than roshomo and the puja song which has which takes place in the shiva track so friends how many stars for this masterpiece i give you know solo 4.5 stars 0.5 stars less just because of the last you know world of rudra apart from that it's a classic it's a bijoy nambia masterpiece go and enjoy it irrespective of its box office faith that is in the hands of dq is going to bring in the numbers it's going to be a blockbuster go and enjoy this is malayalam cinema at its level best 
So friends, if you like this review, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Unfortunately, Solo did not release on Thursday outside Kerala. On Friday, it has four shows which were sold out pre-booked. Today, I watched this movie. That is why the review was late. We come out every Friday. Malayalam reviews on this channel. This is me, Amir Ansari, signing off. I'll see you in another episode. Till then, as I always say, stay cool, man, and go solo.